What's up everybody? Oh, welcome back to tailgate side episode of Teak and Mead. Trying to get my fat self up here. Yeah, of course this is, <laughs> we'll introduce her as the uh, guest star. This is Dorothy. Yep. Uh, 97 Dodge Ram. Been in the family for a, a long while. Yep. yep. But uh, it's our Friday. Yeah. And uh, it's always tiring working oh. ten, working four ten. So yeah. the bigger we do something that ain't that weird around these parts. Yeah, here in rural Missouri. Yeah, sitting on a tailgate having a brew. Yep. And this one is from Missouri. Yep. Out of Buffalo, Missouri, which is only uh, an hour like and an half. hour or so from where we are. Yeah, about an hour and a half from here. So, oh, about an hour and fifteen or so from uh, Fort Leonard Wood, if you know where that is. Uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit further from uh, Rolla, but uh, not that, not too bad out there. No. So, but uh, uh, if you want to grab the, you see the phones right there. Oh, yeah. Um. So uh, we've only got the two with us this time. Uh, I think they've got a couple more, but they got quite a few more. Uh, we were just lucky enough <clears> to find these a few in bottles, few in cans. Um, but uh, we'll get to the the ones that we haven't gotten at a different date. Yep. And I love this. And we always read the about us from the meteries, and uh, theirs is easy. We brew things. Well, good because we drink things. <laughs> so the so, first one, I'm go ahead and rattle that off, is a spook light. It's got this uh, picture of a, it's like old, a ghost train. Yeah, man. it's like an old steam train. Uh, it just says honey wine with natural flavors, uh, canned by the Leaky Roof Meadery. It's got this really cool kind of little logo on the top. That's pretty dope. Well, that's that's also their that's their symbol. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll post better pictures later. Um, it comes in a 16 ounce, so a one pint can. Um, I think that's how it, you're, you're not your small soda can, your big soda can. Yeah. Um, says our fall seasonal is a pumpkin pie spiced mead. And while we don't use any pumpkin in this one, our house blend of pie spices complements the flavor of honey perfectly to give you a taste of pie that will send shivers down your spine. Ooh, and, uh, 6.5. That ain't bad. No. Yeah, 6.5%. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. All right, let's give this a go. And of course, if you hear cows in the background, well, there's pastures all around us, so. Yeah. Oh, I was just kidding. Well, this is for color comparison, but. All right. Oops. Alcohol abuse. But, uh, it's about, it's a little darker than, um, than most of your traditionals. It's kind of what you yeah. expect, though, from, but well, it's, from it's mead, still, but... I mean, for a canned mead, it's still really clear. This is, like, something that I would expect to find in a bottle. Yeah. So, well, give it a go. Oh. So, yep. I get a little bit of those those spices they were talking about. If you actually smell it, this is actually where this kind of comes in handy. I, I can't be a good judge. I got so much metal in my nose right now. Oh. I had it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that was attractive, bro. I ain't trying to impress anybody. Um... But you kind of get those those typical uh, pie spice notes, you know, like a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, a hint of clove here and there. I think. Yeah. So something typically that you would find in a pumpkin pie, and it is there's a tinge of like pumpkin pie spice that's really really on the back end. If you let it kind of, it's not if you let it sit in your mouth long enough, but like after you swallow it, if you don't take another swig for a while, you can kind of taste it. Yeah, and it, it kind of tastes like you like a lingering taste of like pumpkin pie. 
Yeah, when well, you get the mead hit first, and then the spices kick in at the back mm -hmm. end, which I'm, I am, and it's going to sound a little weird, I'm actually really happy that it isn't a pumpkin, because that, that gets overdone a lot, but. Well, I don't know how well pumpkin flavor would translate to a mead. <sighs> I mean, I know that it's, it's done with um, certain ales and yeah. like certain beers and things like that, but. Those, to me, have more of like, <clears throat> it's like they took the insides of a pumpkin and they toasted it and then let it sit in there. You know, like if you did like toasted pumpkin pie seeds or something. Yeah, I can see that. Have you ever, you ever done that and ate them? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's kind of like that, but, you know, then or they aged it in like pieces of a pumpkin, too. It's just, it's different. Yeah. Versus, this is like, they took a can of pumpkin pie filling and made alcohol with it well not even not, that. not really to that extent but you kind of get that hint of of a pump it, it it does exactly what you think what it says it does it gives you kind of an a hint of a a, a pie like flavor that's kind of pumpkin pie reminiscent yeah it, it's uh, it's all the good stuff about pumpkin pie without the pumpkin part mm -hmm. but and it's also very uh oh here comes rush hour Sorry, the road we live on, you might see three cars a day, so, um, that sounds like a tractor. Anyway, it's very light, refreshing, nice after a long week. Right. I mean, and for a fall seasonal, it's very <laughs> good. It's just, like you said, it's very drinkable. Um, it's definitely one that I can see doing like this the end of the day sun starts to kind of go down crack the lower the lower the tailgate and have a couple of brews yeah been just don't drink and drive we, we don't endorse that and it's no yeah no 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 mixing of cars and alcohol or firearm alcohol bow alcohol heavy machinery alcohol welder alcohol basically alcohol with really anything that moves besides you and even that, be careful. Oh yeah, be careful. You might end up in four wheel drive, or have yard. A, or have a YouTube channel about drinking. That too. Oh wait, that's <laughs> us. <laughs> so, I gotta find a flat spot on our tail or back in here. Uh, put it on the. Oh oh, I got it underneath the. Nope. Tire holder. Safe there. and. Yeah, I don't want to spill it. Safe and secured. Stay. Well, all right. I guess we're gonna need to do that. Put some cup holders or something. Yeah. So the next one, Candy Dancer. So it's got a oh, Gandy Dancer. Gandy. Oh, oh, that is a G. My bad, guys. Yeah, Gandy Dancer. So we got some guys working on the railroad here, and four dudes up on a hand car, and then. Of course, you got the supervisor there. Make sure work yep. gets done. Sorry, it is a little <laughs> toasty here in uh yeah here in Missouri. Yeah, sorry, my hair is not the greatest right now. Um, uh, is the, a the Gandhi dancer is a full is full of rich. Sorry, my eyes suck. And inventive characters, inviting inviting characters. My bad. Of our base wildflower honey. And is the sweetest in our lineup, making it the perfect showcase of the foundation of everything we do, honey. Uh, this one actually comes in a little higher. It's uh, 7.2, and that's 500 milliliters. Is that what the thing? No, just a little bit more. Okay. About 27 milliliters more. So it's, it's the same size can, but there's a little bit more in it than the last one. Ooh. But you know what that means. More alcohol. Sorry, Betsy's over there screaming at us. 
Ooh. Another color comparison. Yeah, once the about the same. Going, yeah. But again, for coming out of a can, it's pretty clear. Yeah, and that's kind of but that's kind of what you expect too. Yeah. Man, that's real floral. It's right on the nose. Which for a basic wildflower is not unexpected. Yeah, but this is a sweeter version. The sweetest in their lineup. I can taste that. It's uh It's not mead? it's not super sweet though. Wildflower again, wildflower honey is one of those in and of itself is a varietal because wildflower honey from one spot is going to be totally different from another. Oh yeah, well, and even it goes as far as you know, not just like California, Virginia, Missouri, Washington. You could have a beekeeper over here in the same town, and right next door have another one. And it's all up to what the bees find. You know, your basic wildflower is going to be whatever they find. But where you're like your blueberry or orange blossom, it's going to be okay. Yeah. There's a beehive. That's kind of whatever the local. Yeah. Um, Which a lot of them tend to be uh, clover or some some mixture of berry. Yeah. But blossom, maybe a, maybe a couple fruits here and there. <sighs> That's really an easy sipper, though. It's very refreshing. Uh, yeah. Especially after, especially after a long day, I'm sure. That welder sucks, man. I bet it does. <laughs> I bet it does. Uh, but yeah, they offered me that one too. But um, we'll see. Yeah. And so they've always got a opening for spot welder. Pretty much. So. But anyway, so final thoughts between these two. Um, they're kind of. Really, both means are, are they're both very good, um, but they're on two different ends of a, a spectrum. Um, you gotta think because one of them is a seasonal and it's it's like season specific. This one's kind of all year, and yeah. it's it's very it's very basic as far as a mead goes, in the sense that it's it's a wildflower and that's kind of it. They didn't really do anything special with it. It's just it's just well, a wildflower. Whereas the other one, they went, they did some other things. Well, and not that, not, not going, doing extra stuff like. Not that it's a bad thing. That crap, but it, it's tried and true. You know it's gonna work. You know people are gonna enjoy it. How we are. Yep. And it very very easy on the palate. Mm -hmm. Be good with pretty much anything. Bird, oh, bird would be good right now. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a burger to a to a, to a rack of ribs, whatever. But yeah, this would be great for uh, you know, like when we're when we got the smoker going, or if we decide later on down the line when we got a big enough barbecue grill or whatever, or do some do some barbecuing. Mm. Um, Marinated like some barbecue shrimp in chicken. It. Oh yeah. In this one, not not the other one. The other one, I think. The other one might be good for uh, maybe pork. Yeah. That little bit of extra spice to yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe as a maybe if you reduce it down for like make a sauce out of it. You make a sauce for like a ham or something. Mm, yeah. Like if you did a glazed ham. Well. Fall's might be, coming might up. Be good. Yeah. But so, which one are you going with? You know, continue with what's in your hand, or go with the. I don't. I am not coordinated enough for that. Boy. Um, I'd rather not waste the alcohol. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish what I got and then work on the other one. Yeah, I hear that. But so. well, definitely gonna have to give. Uh, Give Leaky Roof another try. Yep. See what else y'all got. I know you guys got some uh, some in bottles that I saw at where we picked these up. And of course, they're only an hour and a half away. Mm hmm. That sounds like a semi. Um, it sounds like a motorcycle. It might be an ATV. 
Actually, there's a guy that lives back over here. He'll come flying down there, down the Elder Road. Oh, yeah. On an ATV all the time. Yeah, so. we live out in the sticks, people. So, yeah. But, anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have to try some more from them. Uh, so, look, looking forward to doing a part two and maybe a couple other ones. Um, you well, know, depending on how things go, we might be able to do it on the road. Yeah, yeah. Um, we yeah. got a couple. We had one. We had a eatery recently reach out to us. I can't remember who it was, but um, White Bear out of uh, where was it? I can't remember at this point. It's been a long day, dude. It's been a long week. Yeah. But anyway, Minnesota. Minnesota. Was it? Yeah, yeah. That sounds right. Minnesota. <clears throat> so definitely be giving them a try here soon. So. Stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, as always, be great to one another. Drink responsibly. No skull. Skull. And I mean it. Don't mix cars and alcohol. No. That's how you end up with an LS and a freaking Fox body.